VAT, um, welcome to the next class. Um, we are going to be looking at value added tax. Value added tax was introduced in 1993 and it replaced sales tax, which was introduced in 1986. Value added tax is a form of indirect tax, you know, and it's usually administered by the Federal Inland Revenue Services and the revenue accruing from value added tax in a year is distributed amongst the three arms of government. The federal government takes 15%, the state government takes 50%, and the local government takes 25%. You see, the value added tax is structured in a way that if the state government will have enough revenue at their disposal to carry out their constitutional function and also the local government will also have more to carry out their constitutional function. Now, value added tax actually has a technical committee that administers it. It is chaired by a chairman who shall also be the executive chairman of the Federal Inland Revenue Services and all the directors of FIRS shall be members. The director of National Customs Service shall also be a member. And three representatives of the state government who are members of the Joint Tax Board. The taxable person shall, upon commencement of business, register for. VAT. Now, VAT registration form must be filled, and that is form VAT001. The taxpayer must fill this form, and upon filling this form, he shall submit the said form to the Federal Inland Revenue Services alongside taxpayers registration input form shall be submitted to the Federal Inland Revenue Services and other documents of the company including certificate of incorporation and questionnaire and questionnaire of the taxpayer shall be filled and submitted to the Federal Inland Revenue Services. The essence of filling all this form is to ascertain tax identification number 10. Is to ascertain tax identification number 10. Now, once you've registered and gotten your team as a company, you are required by law to file for VAT return which you shall fill in the VA in the VAT form 002 every 21st day of the next month. In that 21st day of the month next month, you shall be filing for the VAT transactions that occurred previous month. This is what practitioners do. Are you there? Now, any person who failed to file for VAT shall be penalized in accordance with the law. If you collect VAT and fail to remit, you also fail to deduct VAT. The law stipulated certain punishment that shall be meant on you as a defaulter. So we have types of VAT, we have input VAT. Input VAT is charge on purchases. For example, if company A buys a good, they will pay VAT. That VAT, that VAT, that VAT, that VAT shall be called input VAT. Why is it called into pute VAT? It is called in pute VAT because the man paid, the company paid for it. Right. Sure. They were paying. 
the company paid for it when they were when he was buying the goose. So he gave the money out. So output VAT is the VAT that is collected by a company when it makes a sales. Output VAT is a VAT that is collected when the company makes a sales. For example, if a company sells that good it bought previously, it will include VAT inside it. And that VAT shall be known as output VAT. Now what shall now be the VAT due? The VAT due shall now be the difference between output VAT and input VAT. I hope you understand. It's the difference between output VAT and input VAT. So we now have VAT appeal tribunal. VAT appeal tribunal shall be set up by the Minister of Finance. No, and it shall consist of more than not more than eight persons. And the quorum shall be performed. Now I have thought about tax tribunal in our previous classes. So that tax tribunal shall also preside over issues relating to VAT. So VAT does not have its own tribunal. It is still that same tax tribunal that is set up by the Minister of Finance, you know, and which shall have its persons, and also shall have a chairman, and the chairman must be a legal practitioner who, have, who must have a 15 years post qualification experience. And that. So we have zero rated items. These are items which VAT is charged at zero percent. So, as the name implies, zero rated. We don't. The rates chargeable on those items are zero percent. Example is non oil exports, non oil exports, goods and services purchased on um, by diplomat, goods purchased for use in humanitarian donor funded projects. So these are the three types of goods that uh, that has zero rates as rates. Exempted items from VAT. Medical items are exempted. Pharmaceutical products, basic food items, baby products, books, educational materials, or exports, equipment purchased for agricultural purposes, plants for export processing zone are uh, all exempted from VAT. You must know this because it comes out in your OBJ. Exempted services items from VAT include medical services or exported services, services rendered by community banks, merchant banks, plays and performance conducted by the educational learning institutions, method of calculating VAT, debt cash and credit method. Now we have offenses and penalty. This you shall read it up in your notes. So I'll just hint on it. Failure to register. You pay a fine of 50000 for the first month and 55000 for the subsequent month. No remittance of tax. 10% of the tax not remitted and the interest at the prevailing CBN minimum discount rate. Rendering first return. Double the amount under declared child. Evasion of tax. 30000 or the amount of tax evaded, whichever is higher. Or imprisonment, not exceeding three years. So all these are the penalties you face. So these are VAT forms. VAT form 001 is registration form. VAT form 002 is uh, rendition return. VAT form 003 is used to render monthly returns and all that. So you must acquaint yourself with this procedure of filing VAT return. Now, what are the procedure of filing VAT return? First, you must make payment of the VAT. You must calculate your input VAT and also calculate your output VAT. When you do this, you now find the difference. The difference will now be tax due to FIRS. So you walk to a bank, collect the teller, you fill the teller, and also fill VAT from 002 and make the payment. So the collecting officer in the bank will process it and gives you give you a printout and a duplicate of the teller and also take a duplicate of the teller. You return back to your office. You now file for VAT with MSTO. So these are ways in which VAT is filed. 
it is a way in which VAT is filed. So it's very, very simple to file for VAT. Now, the recent Finance Act 2019 changed a lot of things in VAT. One, you, from 5% to 7.5%. So the rate of VAT is now 7.5%. That is no longer in use. The list of exempted items increased locally manufactured sanitary towels, pads, tampons, basic food items, addictives, bread, seals, cooking oil, fish, flour, and all that. The new act also exempted businesses with turnover below 25 million from VAT payments. So if you have a turnover below 25 million, you are not expected to file for VAT. VAT remittance is now to be cash-based, not invoice-based. VAT exemption now applies to measures or acquisition. Fines and penalties were also adjusted, so these are the adjustments, so you must note this. So that is that for VAT class. So we will stop here for today and continue in our next class. Do you have a nice day? The note will be made available to you, so try and read that.